Hi folks, this is Meredith from the Papery Craftery and today we're going to be making some teeny tiny mini snowmen. So of course I have white paper here. This is just a bright white from Code Creations. We're going to need a little bit of black. We're going to need a little bit of brown. This is called light brown also from Code Creations. And our snowmen are going to be carrying little gifts for each other. So I'm going to be using red and then I'm going to be using green. You may change that obviously, whatever color works best for you. For glue, this is just a white glue, Elmer's Glue All in my needle nose container. I would also recommend that for your quilling tool for this one, you do use a needle tool. It will definitely work the best. I would also grab some tweezers and some small craft scissors. And then whatever surface you like to build your quilling on, you're gonna need to be able to have some place to glue this all together. So I have my work board covered in some parchment paper. And we're going to move everything aside and we're going to get started. So we're going to start with the snowman itself. And these are going to be snowmen that are only two sections. I know sometimes you see snowmen where they have like three balls to make their bodies. These are just going to be two. And with your white paper, you're going to need about four inches for the top ball and about six inches or so for the bottom. This paper is one eighth inch wide. If you'd like to use a different width for this, you're welcome to. They should all work pretty much the same. You're also going to need your needle tool for this part and whatever glue you'd like to use. So to start with, let's work on the top first. We have our needle tool and we have our smaller of the two strips. So this is just a matter of rolling your strip all the way from start to finish. It's like a standard coil, but we're not going to take it off the tool and let it relax. What I like to do is just pull the tail almost all the way till the end. We're gonna leave a little bit on the uh, needle tool until we get to something that looks like this. And then we're going to carefully roll it back up, but not all the way from the center. Hard to explain in words, but what I did, as you can see, is I rolled it back up, leaving a large open space in the center. And the paper actually naturally does this to an extent. You have to guide it a little bit, but what it should look like is you can see there kind of a wider band on the outside and then just that center coil kind of coming in from the side. We're gonna glue down the tail and leave it just like that. So it has a lot of negative space in it, a lot of open quality, but then that little coil in the center kind of just gives it a little bit of movement on the inside. We're gonna do the same thing for the bottom piece. Just so you can see that again, roll it all the way to the end on your needle tool. And the reason I mentioned that a needle tool is what's gonna work for this project is because it's much harder to do this move with a slotted tool. You'd have to move the tool. It would be really awkward. So I don't even know how it would work out. So definitely grab a needle tool for this project. So same thing. Oops, stop dropping it. So you can see it started kind of curling in on itself there and then I'm just guiding it the same way all the way up until it gets to the end. And you have a little bit of wiggle room. If you want to make it a little bit bigger, you can kind of open your fingers gently and it will keep the same shape. But what I wouldn't do is, is let go of it and just let it naturally unravel because you want to have some kind of control over that circle shape. After you glue down the tail, that is the other piece of our snowman's little body. Like I said, these are really tiny. I just think having that little circle in the middle instead of a solid coil, one, it's just a different look but it also just kind of adds to the roly poliness of a snowman. There's our two pieces. All you have to do is just add a dot of glue between them. There you go. It's already coming together. Now it's just a matter of the accessories. So let's move on to the next part. We are going to be now doing the little arm. 
This snowman is sort of a profile snowman. You're looking at it from the side. So we're only going to do one arm. If you want to change this, obviously, do it however you like. But our snowman is having one arm. And so all I did with the brown paper is do a couple little zigzag folds. Have that shoot across the room. And then gluing it to the snowman. Sometimes it just looks a little long. Like I feel like that might be one too many little zigzags. So let me just snip that off there and attach that. I like it when the last is last little peak is going up. I think it looks better when he's holding something. That's just a personal preference. So that is what my arm is going to look like. Again, it's just a matter of a little dot of glue. And then once all these tiny bits come into play, your tweezers are going to be your best friend for this. There we go. So that is our snowman's arm extending out from its body. Next thing we're going to do is work on his little hat. So this is going to be in two parts. We need one inch of black and then another three inches of black as well. And we're going to be doing the brim of his hat first, which is going to be an S uh, scroll, which means rolling a couple turns one direction, turning it upside down and backwards, and then rolling down again so that when you're looking at it, it looks like the letter S. And then sometimes it needs a little bit of stretching out again if you rolled it too much. Put that aside and then we're working on the hat itself, which is just going to be a standard uh, coil. We're not doing anything fancy to this. We're not changing the shape in any way. If you wanted to make it more of a square or a rectangle, by all means. We're just going to keep this real simple with just a round coil and a little bit of glue to finish that up. And then once that's done, we can put the pieces of our hat onto our snowman friend. Oops. There we go. Grab our snowman back again. Get a little bit closer so you can see which direction the hat's going to go. I like to have it kind of on a little slant, like it's just coming back off the top of his head. And the coil or the uh, part of the S roll that's in the back is going to be the one that's facing down. You'll see in a second. There we go. Just on the back of his little head. This guy doesn't want to agree with me for a second here, and that's okay. Good. And then let's put the top of his hat on. Another small dot of glue. If you don't have a needle nose container, I'd recommend just making a little a little puddle of glue on your work surface and using like a toothpick or the end of a tool or something because these are so small you do not need a lot of glue. You might not want to go from a big bottle. So the needle nose bottles are going to be really helpful also. So the last part we're going to do is making some little gifts for our snowman to hold. And one of them is going to be from the red paper. I have two strips of pieces that are about one and a half inches and I'm just going to be making a very small heart out of them. So that's just a coil that's taken off the tool, let it open up a little bit, put some glue on the end and then give it a big solid pinch. This is so tiny that it's going to be even hard to see in my hand but it's the perfect size for our little snowman glue the two of those, we did the same thing on both strips, glue the two of them together and pinch it for a few seconds. This gets a little tricky just because it's so small. There you go. And that's going to be our little heart for our snowman. And then the other option is going to be just a small package, a little gift. So that's why I have the green here. This is a really pretty green called Holiday Green from uh, Craft Harbor. Very, very Christmas, very Kelly Green. And I'm using about three inches 
for this little gift box. And we're going to be making a square, which is not a, a shape that I use very often, but it's good to know how to do it. So just a standard coil, take it off your tool and glue down your tail just a little bit. And then you need to pinch it twice. So what I do is make sure that your center is in the middle, a pinch on either side like a marquee, but then you're going to turn it and pinch the other two sides as well. And that gives you a little square. But what is a gift box without a bow on top? So we're going to grab our black paper again, and we're going to do a couple turns on our needle tool, take your tool off. So it looks like this, and then give it a little snip real close to where that curve is. And we're going to do that again. A couple turns, take your tool out, give it a little snip around the same size. We should have two pieces now that sort of look like a letter P and then we're going to glue them back to back I'm sort of at a slight little angle, but don't stress out about that part too, too much. It's okay if they're straight across and that's going to be our super simple little bow shape that's going to go on at the top of our gift box. So I'm make a little bit too, too at an angle, a little too slanted. There we go. And I would let that dry for a couple seconds and then just glue it to the top of your package, just like that. And then it's just a matter of gluing your gifts onto your snowman's arms. So we have our heart and we have another one here that already has our package on it. And you can make these into little gift tags if you'd like to. And that's just a matter of adding a tiny bit of glue here and there, just some dots, and then putting it on whatever tag you like. You can make cards out of them. You can make these different sizes just using the same techniques. You just want to make sure that your top snowball for your snowman is a little bit smaller than your bottom one, but you can make these as big or as small as you want to just need a little string for my gift tag and this guy will be ready to go. I also have a, another gift tag here where I have two snowmen facing each other and giving each other their little gifts. So one is giving the heart and the other is giving the package, which is really cute. So that's just a matter of putting the arm and the hat on the other side of the little snowman's body or flipping it over if you wanted to do it that way, if you're happy with both sides. You can definitely change up the packages any way you want to, get real creative with what they're handing off to each other. That would be amazing. Like I said, you can change the size, change the colors, go crazy on these. Please leave any questions you have in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can. I will leave links to all the supplies I used as always. In addition to my buy me a coffee page where you'll find some exclusives, including a buttercup video that you won't find anywhere else. I am hoping to make a few other holiday posts for the month of November. So please don't forget to like, and subscribe so you can check those out as soon as they air. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.